Hey, welcome back to Real Talk. As always, thanks for hanging out with us. We're uh, getting close to Christmas, and so we thought we would start today's Real Talk with some awesome Christmas treats, and we'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite Christmas food? And Joe is going to sample some Christmas goodness. Are you ready? This is a real over part. Here. Over back here. There <laughs> you go. This is a real party right now. This is real talk. This is what is this what happens in the Hickson household for a holiday yeah, party? Yeah, this is good Christmas fun right we here. Blindfold each other and feed each other. And we things. have some amazing foods that I am excited for you to sample. Are you ready? So here's what's going to happen: is you're going to, you know, really use your senses and taste it and smell it and tell okay. us what you experience, okay? Okay, this and is gonna be really fun. I would like to remind you this is a G-rated program for the kids. <laughs> okay. So however you respond, you. it's I a family that. program. It's a family. Okay, so okay. here you go. Here's the first fork. This is a fork full of something. It's something, it's gonna be good. Tell us about it. Oh, dry. <laughs> Paste. Uh, wow. This feels like it must be some kind of holiday stolen. Oh, uh, this is a kiffle, actually, my <laughs> this friend. This is a kiffle? Yes. A kiffle. Yes. Does it have nuts in it? Uh, it has a lot of Sugary. poppy seeds. Oh. A lot. That's got poppy seeds. That's yes. poppy seeds? Yes. Is that what poppy seeds taste like? Yeah. Did you oh, like yeah. it? Let me have I that probably first, fell though. a drug test. Yeah, you're going to be in trouble. I'm sure. Let me move on to item number two here. I actually think you're really going to like this one, okay? Is, okay. This is... Uh, yeah, it has a little it has a little glaze on top of it even. It's gonna be good. <laughs> it's good for you because you would Oh, I think he likes it. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> you need you want some water to wash it down. <laughs> that was actually the best one I have. Yeah, you need to go on. That's the worst holiday thing I've ever eaten in my life. Yeah, what? I powdered sugar on top of it to sweeten it up. <laughs> Who eats that for Christmas? Uh, That's Christmas? I don't know. It's a gift. Know what Certainly a gift to us. Oh, gosh. I've got one more for you. I do feel like this one will <laughs> this one will redeem things. Here you go. You go. Right over here. You go. This is what the Hickson family does yeah. to entertain themselves at Christmas. This is, that was what, I don't know what that was, but it was disgusting. Okay, Ooh, so let's get the next I'm one, Brad. Excited. Please, I am so excited for the next no, holiday treat. This one. Hang on a minute. I'm the next some holiday some treat is going to be incredible. I have a <laughs> here you go. Okay. That doesn't, that doesn't smell. Is it good? How would you describe it? jello -y. Oh! This has got to be a fruit roll or something. That, it's my like friend, fruit roll up. is the Benson's Premium Fruit Cake. <laughs> oh, it tastes premium. <laughs> it does it. Fing oh, fork licking. Oh, that's good. That's actually, good. Actually, of the three, that one's pretty good. Really? Yeah. Well, I was not expecting that. I don't actually know what's in there, but... This is no good. fun anymore. Good. So, I mean, it was fun for me. It wasn't yeah, that much I would fun imagine for you. <laughs> it was fun. Can I use this to... Sure. I was maybe, crying. Maybe, I was... you know, there you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you <laughs> All right, it's okay. Christmas. It is Christmas, and this is this is the fun right here. Yeah, this is This it. is what you just put in my mouth? This. Yeah, that last one was the fruitcake. That was pretty good, actually. What do you think the green things are? I have no idea. It's some very kind of gelatinous niblet of some kind. I'm not sure, but if I don't know the what was what was not your favorite. That oh my goodness! What yeah. is it? That's the uh, holiday stolen from the <laughs> Dimpfelmeyer company. <laughs> it's amazing what people will eat for Christmas. This is what I'm brings sure joy some to food. Love it. I would imagine. I did not. So I did not. That was fun, but was there fun. is. Great joy at Christmas. We sing about it. We talk about it. We uh, put signs in our yard that say joy, joy right? right? Joy to the world. Mm -hmm. well, like, let's talk about why we say that. What it's it not is, that. It's not that. There's okay. greater joy. Let's talk about what it is to have joy. And as we enter into the holiday season, you know, it's chaotic and it's messy mm -hmm. and there's family stuff. And if you've got little kids, they're gonna have, the kids are going to be home for two weeks and they're going to be driving you crazy by the end of that. And like, how do we find joy? 
we're, we're singing about it. Yeah. We're proclaiming it. We're putting mm -hmm. it on signs. How do we find joy? So that's what I want to talk about for a few minutes. Okay. Let Super me read fun. from Colossians 1, and we'll kind of just respond to this. Paul says, he says, we give joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of his holy people in the kingdom of light. He has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption and the forgiveness of sins. So he says right off the bat, we have joy. We give thanks to God and have joy in doing it. And then he kind of lists why. He's talking to these people that he loves and he says, you've been rescued mm -hmm. from darkness, brought into the kingdom mm -hmm. of light. You, have, you are loved by God in his son, Jesus, and you have the forgiveness of your sins and redemption. He even says you have the inheritance yeah, of God's family, that. right? Yeah. So he starts off with joy. He kind of gives these reasons. Talk about that. What do you hear? Yeah, I mean, the thing that jumps out at me is inheritance, right? And mm -hmm. so there's just so much beyond a gift in an inheritance. It's, it's like the accumulation of all all that someone has worked for oh, yeah. for their entire lives and they leave that to you as a gift so that Christ would accumulate he comes to earth lives for us and accumulates from eternity past and then through his death and resurrection on the cross birth death resurrection he hands us his inheritance mm -hmm. that we get that mm -hmm. I mean if you stop and process that that's pretty joy producing yeah I think. Yeah, definitely. I, I love the word redemption mm -hmm. because I think all of us have a, a sense that there's something broken in us. There's something that's fallen apart. So to be to be put back together, redeemed, uh, I don't know, something about that jumps off the page to me. Like that's a, that sits good with me to bring joy. You know, mm -hmm. that makes me light up a little bit. Yeah. And I mean, all of what he's saying is to kind of pick our eyes up yeah. from... You know, if, if you're living for the best fruitcake or the best dessert, which what we, is what we wind up doing. We wind yeah. up living for, oh, these moments like, oh, if the gift wrapping is perfect, if the, if the person responds to the present I give them the way I want them to do, if the food is right, if the smells are right, if the music, if the, mm -hmm. if the we're living for that. And then it's like it's over. We ate it. It's done. It's gone. The present, the reaction. It's so temporary, but I think what Paul is reminding us is to lift our eyes up mm -hmm. beyond these temporary nut rolls to something bigger, which is what does Christ really given us? Mm -hmm. Redemption, inheritance, forgiveness, kingdom. Yeah. Great, <clears throat> really cool reminders of joy. And that's the joy of Christmas, right? It's like, mm -hmm. seriously, just, just step back, zoom out. God came down to meet us. Mm -hmm. And to give us all these things. Like, if you can set your mind on that, if you can let that sink into your heart, like, it has to produce joy. That's incredible. Because mm -hmm. without that, so subtract that reality out yeah. of our existence. Yeah. So December is just this messy Christmas, month, cold. What do we have to celebrate? Right. If, if Jesus didn't enter the world, what would life be like without him? Right. Because even the stuff that, we, that we've made to be fun about Christmas, the, even, you know, maybe the family stuff and the prince, it's all fleeting, right? Mm -hmm. So we can hold on to these little things, but they're fleeting. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like, overwhelming joy. God came to us. Joy has come to the world in his son, in mm -hmm. Jesus. It's amazing. But we move past that or we ignore that or we don't focus on that. Right. And then we wonder why we all feel depressed after December 26th. And right. into the New Year's, there's sort of reality of the holiday blues and the post sort yeah. of depression that comes from everybody hangover after the holidays because of the, the joy that we have has been fleeting. It's not right. been what's lasting. Right. So it kind of just proves that what we really need to find our joy in is what well, lasts in Jesus, yeah. right? And so even as we go into Christmas, how do we then think about, yeah, we're going to do the family stuff. We're going to do the fun stuff and the presents and all that. But how do we practically then go, no, I, I, I'm still making it about Jesus because that's where my joy is found. Mm -hmm. And I know for me, that's just a constant choice. Mm -hmm. We have the sign up in our house all over the place that just says choose joy, that it's an action. It's a decision. It's not something you're going to fall into. It's going to move beyond you if you don't make a conscious decision to choose joy in Christ this Christmas. It's not going to happen without a choice. Yeah.
something you said a couple of weeks ago here on Real Talk has just stood out to me about uh, part of that choice is making an inventory of what's mm-hmm. in our life, what's good in our life. And at the top of that list is that God loved us so much that yes. Jesus mm-hmm. brought all of God's inheritance to us, called Incredible. us his people, his holy people, mm-hmm. gives us redemption, the forgiveness of our sins, it says. Amazing, right? Incredible. Yeah, so I don't know what your Christmas is going to bring. I don't know if it's something you're looking forward to. It's going to be fun. It's going to be chaotic, whatever. But don't forget about the real joy that is found in Jesus, that God came to us, and that joy will never run out. Awesome. Cool. You really liked it, so I'm going to I'm gonna try it. Like, I'm going to try the You should thing. use a fork. Oh, it's sticky. Oh. You're going to love it. It's so good. Oh, get us out of here. See you next time on Real Talk. That is foul. It's better than... Oh my God. That is disgusting. <laughs>